Welcome back to our betting forum edition of On The Volley. This is where we give our predictions for the weekend's football. Now, uh, before I start, I just want to remind everybody, okay, that we do not advocate betting. Um, if you are going to follow us, keep the stakes low. I mean, we just do it for fun. We keep the stakes low. It just adds a bit of interest in over the weekend. And that said, let's get to it. Now, we've started off quite well this season. Anyone that's followed us will probably remember me last season saying, look, don't follow us. We are absolute crap. And we were last season. But this season, we've started off well. First week, I've got a super single and five team accumulator came in. Uh, the only one that let me down on the bonkers bet was a Newcastle or Brighton Newcastle game. I had them both to score and over 2.5 goals ended up nil nil. Um, then what I would say is that um, keeper got the second week super single and the five team accumulator. Now last week keeper didn't do too well. Um, I didn't do too bad. I got the super single and my super single was Celtic to score two goals or over in the first half. I actually said that I thought Celtic to score three goals or over was definitely a possibility, but I just kept it cautious. I just stuck with the two goals or over, which came in obviously and paid 2.46 to one. And anyone that does follow my Celtic videos will have heard me say on numerous occasions that I expect Celtic to score two goals or more in over 60 or 70% of the game. So that's just my opinion. Um, <clears throat> my bonkers bet, uh, you know, the five team accumulator, two teams are out. My bonkers bet was coming in, waiting on Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich had scored 15 goals in their first three games. They've got Mane, Sane and Koeman as a strike force. 15 goals in three games. I had them to score two goals or over in the first half. They didn't even score one. Actually, at home, they drew 1-1 to Borussia Mönchengladbach, which is a shame. If they'd come in, it would have been 20.91 to one. But hey, that's football for you. What can you do? So let's go on to my predictions for this week. Now, this week, my super single, I've gone with Newcastle at home to Crystal Palace. I've gone with both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. And the odds for that is 2.2 to one. Then my five team accumulator, I've gone for Swansea at home to QPR, over 1.5 match goals to be scored. So two goals or more. Motherwell v Dundee United, you know, popped over to Scotland and I've gone for over 1.5 match goals there as well. Then we go over to France, uh, Lyon versus Angers, okay? And I've gone for Lyon win there. Come to the Premier League, Chelsea versus West Ham, and I've gone for a Chelsea home win. Now I know Chelsea haven't been playing that well, uh, but they need the win. They're on seven points, they need the win, and I have a feeling they're gonna do it. Um, We'll see what happens. Then we go to Spain and I've gone for Villarreal versus LK and Villarreal to win. Now the odds on that, uh, five team accumulator is 4.52 to one. Let's go on to the one I like, the bonkers bet. Now I've gone for Norwich at home to Coventry, uh, English Championship League, yeah. I've gone for Norwich to score two goals or more over the course of the match. Celtic versus Rangers, I've gone for Celtic to score two goals or more. I decided not to go for Celtic over 1.5 goals in the first half. Then we go to back to the Premier League and I've gone for Manchester United versus Arsenal, both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. Um, Arsenal are free scoring at the moment, so I can see them scoring. Um, 
And although Arsenal have a great defence at the moment, I have a feeling Manu at home, they've improved. I have a feeling they'll score as well. So then we go over to Holland and I've gone for Twente versus PSV. And I've gone for PSV to score two goals or more, obviously over the match. Then I go back to the Premier League, Tottenham Hotspurs versus Fulham, both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. Now, the bonkers bet pays 18.85 to 1. If you add them all to go, together for what we call our rollover bet, the odds, 187.64 to 1. You know, you need all 11 predictions to come in on the rollover to get that. It's a big ask, but hey, like I said, low odds, 2 quid, 3 quid, 2 euros, 3 euros, whichever you use, okay. Um, if it comes in, hey, beer money for you. What more can you ask for? Anyway, I'm going to pass you over to Keeper. I don't think Keeper done too well this uh, this week, last week, uh, but I'll let him tell you about that, and um, I'll let him give you his predictions. So, Keeper, over to you, son. Hi, thanks, Shaw. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I didn't really do very well either at the weekend. Uh, my five better accumulator, uh, well, it was by Munich let me down. Um, what can you do? What can you do? I only put a fiver on, so you know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pour my eyes out. I'm not gonna cry. But uh, hey, you know, football's football, and uh, the ball is round, as they say. I keep saying that. Maybe I don't know. But this week, I've decided uh, to go my super single. I've gone for Celtic to beat Rangers. Celtic are playing at home there. Um, my five bet accumulator I've gone well Newcastle v Crystal Palace I've gone for Newcastle to win at home there Aston Villa v Manchester City I've gone for Manchester City to get a way win at Aston Villa as Aston Villa are hoo -hoo -hoo at the minute um, Motherwell are playing Dundee United and I've gone for a Motherwell home win Brighton and Hove Albion will be playing Leicester City uh, at the Amex Stadium and I've gone for a Brighton win there. Leicester bottom of the league at the minute. Uh, I've just found out that they're being beat by Manchester United as we speak. Um, and I've gone yet again for Nottingham Forest. Uh, the team who have basically bought 20 players uh, in this transfer window. Uh, I've gone for Nottingham Forest who are at home. I've gone for them to be Bournemouth. Uh, my bonkers bet. Let's hope we do a bit better on the bonkers. Um, Real Madrid are playing Real Betis. Uh, Real Madrid are first and Real Betis are second at the minute. But I've gone for a Real Madrid home win. Athletic Club Bilbao are playing Espanyol. They're going to be at home. And I've gone for an Athletic Club Bilbao win. They're in fourth at the minute. I'm swapping to the Serie A in Italy. Uh, Monza are playing Atalanta. And I've gone for an Atalanta away win there. Udinese are going to be hosting Roma. And Roma are top of the league at the minute. So I've gone for a Roma away win at Udine or Udinese and the last game on my bonkers bet is Manchester United v Arsenal and I've gone for an Arsenal away win at Old Trafford against Manchester United um, now at the end of the video you will see the graphics I've put graphics up this time so you will see all the odds and everything if you just hang about the very end before the Siegler of the end of the video they will be up there um, listen bet sensibly enjoy and I hope fingers crossed that you make some money this weekend 
uh, back to show. Well, there you have it. This week's uh, predictions, okay, keepers' predictions, my predictions. Uh, I repeat, keep the stakes low. It's just to keep the weekend interesting. Um, good luck to keeper. Good luck to me. Good luck to anyone that follow us. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, from keeper, Misha, we're out.